Yo, what's up? It's your boy Currency365. Hope you guys are doing well. Legends never die. They stay in our hearts. Uh, if you want to support us, click the like button, subscribe to the channel, and also you can come down here and hit the join button uh, under the video uh, or in our channel uh, section. And you can also join our Patreon, patreon.com slash currency365. And uh, we also have Cash App and also PayPal uh, for support if you want to sell some seeds. Peace out. God bless. Enjoy the video and keep the movement going. Legends. Bye. All right, all right. Welcome back to Currency 365. Hope you guys are doing well. All right, so I was watching... Um, a TC's video, uh, and I watched just a little bit of it, and I was like, you know what, let me, let me make a video on this real quick, and then I'll, before I watch the rest of it, um, because I've been hearing so much about this stuff, and, um, and about, uh, and, and the TC's video is, um, uh, about the, it says prophecy, uh, this will cause the global cashless society, um, 30 million in the U.S., um, and so they're talking about a disease, a, a new disease X, um, uh, and um and how it i guess it spreads and it causes uh it basically they use it to bring in the uh the cash of society and basically what they did with the um with the cv19 right the um uh, you know the, the cv19 um was basically that right i mean, I mean will they do another one cuz remember we did talk about the uh, 2020 to 2024 and how things are repeating itself and how the all the coincidences in sports from 2020, 2024, there's so many things that are doing, that are being, that are, that, that are, you know, acting the same way as, same events as 2020, including, of course, the Chiefs winning the Super Bowl in 2020, uh, Super Bowl, 2020, 2019 and 2020 Super Bowl, and now they're winning the 2023, 2024 Super Bowl. Um, and then Joel and B getting hindered that year and this year and Ravens, and all, there was so many things from hockey, baseball, and 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 uh, football uh, that were all the same. And one of the uh, prophetic person uh, people in, uh, in in the kingdom said that it was a repeating year. Right? We were repeating what we did in 2020, and we were trying. And this time, we were going to try to correct the wrongs. Right? So, unfortunately, um, in 2020, we had the uh, CV19 breakout across the world um late february into march right and and then they and uh and they made it a global uh pandemic in that in that um in that stage around in march um and so here we are again and now you know the the uh we we have the um you know the uh the the woo the who whatever and others are starting to talk about you know lockdowns and all these things again and and new watch out for this virus, that virus, this thing, this thing. So they're trying to do the exact same thing. It seems like, um, of um, from uh, or at least trying to trying to do it in at least in America. Maybe they might, maybe they won't do it in other countries, but they're at least trying to do it here in America. They're trying to, they're trying to bring something else out. You know what I mean? And a lot of the other things that they tried to bring out did not work because God said He wasn't going to allow it. Right? So. We got to keep praying that God doesn't know that, that God shuts down everything that they're trying to bring out. Right. Um, and but, uh, it, you know, we just got to keep praying about that. So anyway, so I was, so I was looking at TC video and I saw this woman here. Um, I don't even know how to say her name. Um, Breen, Breen, and Nanley, I say I've never heard that name before. Uh, Bernan, Bernan, I don't, I don't know. Bernan Lee. Okay, I don't know, but um, she's talking about a cryptocurrency dream where banks were moving away from fiat money and burning physical cash. Okay, so that's really interesting. So I haven't watched, I haven't watched this part, so I don't know what's going on. But I wanted to stop you because I saw the title, and I was like, let me, let me, um, let me just make my video now, and so I don't have, so I don't, you know, I don't like, I don't like listening to things and then making videos because then I, it seems like I'm just copying. 
And so I don't know what she talked about here. So I just wanted to just talk freely without having, without, you know, uh, using, you know, what other people said or whatever. I like that when I do my videos on Patreon and I do my Intel stuff, I don't want to listen to nobody else. I just want to talk and be free to talk without having to copy other people or, or mistakenly copy other people. Right. So, uh, so I don't know what she said. So I'm going to listen to it afterwards, but, um, it, it's, um, it's interesting because, we talked about, um, you know, banks moving, uh, going into the crypto digital money and how many people are calling for 2025 to be the year where, uh, not 2024, we're in 2024 right now, right? But 2025 to be the year where we do go, we, we do um, end this fiat system and then we go into a digital system, right? And so, and 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 many people believe that that's going to be when we're going to see some of the derivative markets um start to un unwind right and that's going to be a scary event right for many people right that will be a scary event right um that derivative market is a biblical event that's you know so so we and we all have it in our back of our minds right uh when will the debt when will the derivatives debt bubble the bond market is what they call it, but it's a derivative market, right? It's, uh, it's all fake. It's all fake shares, fake this, fake that. Everything's fake, right? When will that ex implode, right? Because when it does, it will be biblical. I mean, you're talking about over 400, maybe by now, there's maybe 600 quadrillion dollars in derivatives, right? In debt, right? So when that implodes it it will be biblical right and so when will that happen you know um cliff high's data sets have had it um had a like a fraction of it imploding this year but i we looking at it because this is an election year i don't think that could be the case it could still be the case because if israel does what they're we think they might do <laughs> to iran right then we could see a portion of that uh, implode, right? That could happen, right? That could happen. But if it doesn't happen this year, then 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 most people are expecting next year, right? We could be a year early, right? That's what most some a lot of people are starting to say we might be a year early, because everything is pointing to next year, right? Not this year, but and and and, and a lot of people are saying because look, the Chiefs did win, the Point Anders were so close. So that might be an indication that we are literally months, you know, 12 months away, right? Because the 49ers went into overtime and they almost finally beat the Chiefs, right? So meaning that maybe it's next year, right, for a lot of these things. And we're just, we're one year behind. And um, so, you know, and then there was another guy on here uh, from the, uh, let me let me go forward here on this video. This guy right here from um, Last Days. His channel has exploded as well uh, because of all the stuff that he's been talking about. Um, but it is kind of interesting that YouTube will allow some people to explode their channels to explode while talking about um, end time stuff like this. And a lot of a lot of, you know, a lot of things that are fear that that put fear in people. Right. Because this stuff does put fear in people. But there is end time prophetic people, though. They have to tell us what's coming. Right. So. Um, so but but it, it is kind of interesting that, that the algorithms of YouTube and, and YouTube team will allow some people to excel in and in, in their prophetic end time warnings, but not others. Right. We've seen a bunch of people come and go prophetically who have been who have been sounding the trumpet on YouTube and their channels got shut down. Right. And then you got other people on YouTube doing the exact same thing, but their channel grow, it doesn't get shut down. They're actually they, they absolutely explode. So that is there's something I don't know what that is. I'm not going to say that these people have made a deal. <laughs> you know any type of form or shape i just think maybe it's just the algorithms you know and it, that it just could be that way um and but some of them maybe have right some of them maybe have um uh, maybe youtube knows these people and they know that they're actually um on their side and not on the side of righteousness 
and they, they let them go and they, they let them do their thing and they let them, uh, you know, do that. But then other people, um, maybe it's just the algorithm. And so for this guy right here that TC likes this guy a lot, uh, maybe it's the algorithms and maybe the YouTube's just allowing him to exp explode. Right. Um, and we, we, you know, and so it is what it is. Right. Um, but, but um, there's a lot of people who get criticized for talking the way this man talks. And, and yet he, for some reason he does, I, I don't think he's been, I don't think he's been heavily criticized um, like others people have. So it's kind of interesting. He's almost as if he's, he's passing through. And, um, and, and so may, maybe, maybe he will be criticized at some, at some point he has to be criticized because you're, you're a prophetic end time person. They all get criticized, right? Uh, you're pushing fear. You're pushing this, right? My, my, um, my King Yeshua just talked about that on one of her videos that, that you know, her videos have been kind of dark and, and scary and fear, but, but, you know, this is what the Lord is showing her. Right. And so people are c complaining, I guess, to her and saying, you're pushing fear and all this stuff. It's like, I'm just, we're just, you're just showing what the Lord is telling her and the dreams that she's having and the, the warnings. Right. So everybody's going to be criticized at some point, you know, for their prophetic end time dreams and prophetic words. Right. I've been criticized. DC has been criticized. Apostle Solomon, everybody, right, has been criticized. You know, except for some people. Some people have not been criticized, and he. So far, I don't think he's been criticized yet. It maybe it will happen, um, but um, but I, I I believe I you know to me it could be the algorithms or it could be something else. I don't know, but either way, he does a good job though, and so I'm not I'm not complaining about him. I'm just saying that. I just thought I, I just think it's interesting that some people get the scapegoat uh, out the, the, uh, through the algorithms and uh, many people can't. Right. Uh, many, many people, if they talk the, the way that this man talks on his videos, which he does a great job, but they their channels are shut down. Their channel, you know, their channels are shut down immediately. So um, so you, and, and so it's kind of interesting. So uh, maybe YouTube is turning. Maybe YouTube is allowing this stuff now. You know, I don't know. Right. So, I, I mean, I, I mean. Maybe they are. I don't know. I have no clue. Or maybe they're just picking some of you guys. Maybe YouTube is picking some of us to, you know, some people are going to make it and some people, many of them, people are not. You know, maybe it's a coin flip. I, I don't know. You guys have to pray about that stuff. But yeah, I think it's interesting. Anyways, he said the Lord showed me uh, more about the uh, 350 million. Okay. Well, I'm guess, is that is that America? Because America has they always said America had 350 million people, but we all we know that that's a lie, right? We got way more than that, uh, especially with all the illegals that are in our countries now, and and um, and we know why there's so many illegals in this country because they want them to, they want to force them to vote Democrat, right? <laughs> so so they, they're bringing in the illegals, they're going to be paying them money, they're going to be paying illegals everything, and then they're going to say vote Democrat. You're here to vote Democrat. That's it. We don't give a crap what you say, you know what I mean? And we're going to give you money to survive until the elections. And then after the elections, we don't need you anymore. We're going to we're going to cut all your fundings off. And then you're going to be you're going to have to roam the streets and create havoc in the streets, especially in liberal areas. That's exactly what they're going to do. To these people, you know, they're going to try. They're going to force them to vote. They're going to keep them alive, keep them on some credit cards and stuff and pay all their stuff until the elections is over. Once the elections is over. If they win, maybe they'll keep it going and say thanks, thanks so much. Or if, they, if but if they lose, you guys didn't do your job. Get out of here, right? And they'll cut all their stuff off, and and then these guys will you know, have to roam the streets, and 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 uh, and and it'll be it's just the same thing happened in France, right? German Germany, France, Sweden, um, all the homeless, all the uh, migrants and illegals came in there. They were promised all these things, they didn't get it, and then all now they're terrorizing the cities and stuff it's crazy not all of them are bad right but there's a but all you need is 10 percent. you know what i mean <laughs> then your whole your whole town in france is up is gone right your 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 history your your everything your legacies your history your, your traditions are all gone because you, know, you can't even go outside anymore because you got people terrorizing the place right so uh we saw a little bit of that in new york over the last couple of weeks right so um, this is going to be bad guys and girls. This is going to be there. They are setting America up for a massive downfall and we're allowing it to happen because liberals are in control right now. And, and, and because, uh, many liberals are, are, are completely brainwashed and blind 
to what's going on. And so, and then it's going to hit them like a ton of bricks and it's going to be too late. Right. And so that's the problem. The problem is the dollar. The problem is that we are so, we, we, we are so um, fixated that the dollar is a world reserve currency. And so we, it doesn't really matter what happens in America, as long as the dollar is a world reserve currency, but what's going to happen when the dollar isn't the world reserve currency, it's going to be too late. Right. And because people are like, well, we will, we'll decide on that when it, when it, when that time comes. It's too late when that when that time comes. So that's the problem, right? So that so that they realize that the American people are asleep, right? And while you guys are asleep, they're flooding in illegals. They're changing laws. They're changing how elections are run, operated. They're allowing people to do this and that. They're I mean they're they're creating uh, an environment that when you wake up, it's too late. There's you're not going to be able to reverse it, right? They get, everybody's overweight now and everybody's a glutton, you know, th that's what they're doing to Americans. And, um, and so every, so this is what they're doing while we're asleep. While Americans are asleep, you're getting fat, you're partying, you're getting fat. You, you're not seeing these things. You're not seeing these laws pass. You're not seeing what the banks are doing. You actually, but what the, what are the banks doing? You see how the banks are transitioning, look like XRP is coming in and cryptos are going to be coming in and things like that. People have no clue about any of these things, right? And so, uh, because the reason why they don't, um, they don't care is because the dollar is still the world reserve currency.